a name synonymous with the golden age of silent cinema, Charlie Chaplin is considered one of the greatest comedians and filmmakers in the history of cinema. Born on April 16, 1889 in London, Chaplin's life was an extraordinary journey full of challenges, achievements and unique talents. From his humble beginnings on the music hall stage to becoming an international icon, Chaplin's contribution to the world of entertainment is unparalleled. Charlie said it all without speaking, and now it's time to say it all about him. If you're ready with your coffee and in front of your screens, here we go. Charlie Chaplin was born in London on April 16, 1889. However, the beginning of Chaplin's life was not so easy. Charlie Chaplin had quite an interesting journey before he became the international star we know and love. Born in London to a family of entertainers, Chaplin's childhood was filled with the sights and sounds of the theatre. Young Charlie took his first steps on stage at the age of five. But for Chaplin, life was not all laughter and applause. His family faced poverty and hardship and he often had to fend for himself. These early experiences shaped his unique outlook on life and influenced his later work. At a young age, he exhibited his talents, toured and took part in different stage productions. During this time, his talent for comedy was recognized. Soon, he began working for the Fred Carnot Company, a touring theatre which allowed him to further develop his comedic skills. In 1910, he toured America for American producer Fred Carnot's company. After becoming known in America, he signed a contract with Keystone Studios and began his film career. Here, his creation of the character Little Tramp helped him become iconic and recognized worldwide. Charlie Chaplin quickly rose to prominence in the world of cinema after his deal with Keystone Studios. His character Little Tramp became a figure who was not only funny and charming, but also moved audiences with his emotional depth. Little Tramp became an unforgettable character known for his clown makeup, big shoes and a bambasca hat. This character became Chaplin's signature and was one of the most important elements that shaped his career. In 1915, Chaplin participated in a Charlie Chaplin look-alike contest in which the judges and the audience didn't realize he was real and he won third prize. After leaving Keystone Studios, Chaplin founded his own film production company, Charlie Chaplin Productions. During this period, he created classics of the silent era such as The Kid, The Gold Rush, and City Lights. These films were both huge box office successes and critically acclaimed. Chaplin was recognized not only as a comedian, but also as an artist, thanks to the emotional depth of the character and the story's appeal to the theme of humanity. Also in 1925, Chaplin became the first actor to be featured in The Times. Charlie Chaplin was not only a comedic genius, but also a pioneer of cinematic techniques and storytelling. His film, Modern Times in particular, was a sharp critique of the industrial change of his time and the mechanized world of man. Even in the silent era, Chaplin's films were full of resounding innovation and artistic creativity. Chaplin's works were not only comedies, but also strong criticism of social problems and injustices. In particular, his film The Great Dictator takes a bold stand against Adolf Hitler and totalitarian regimes. Chaplin, like some other silent film stars, experienced difficulties in the transition to the talkie era. However, he successfully made the transition to the sound era and achieved great success in the sound era with films such as City Lights and Modern Times. These films showed that Chaplin was not only a comedian, but also a thought-provoking film director. In the late 1940s, the political climate in America began to change. During the Cold War, anti-communist sentiment increased, and many artists, writers and directors were questioned. Charlie Chaplin faced some problems in America because of his political stance and social criticism. Chaplin faced an exile in 1952. He was accused of being a communist by the FBI and his visa was cancelled. This led to Chaplin's departure from America and exile in England. Despite the many years he spent in America, Chaplin received great love and respect from the public upon his return to England. After these troubled times, he brought important films such as Limelight, 
a king in New York, and a countess from Hong Kong, to the big screen. Although Chaplin had no musical training, he composed music for his own films and won an Oscar for Best Soundtrack in 1972 for his music for Limelight. He also won Oscars for Best Original Screenplay in 1940 for The Great Dictator and in 1947 for Monsieur Verdoux. And in 1941, he also won an Oscar for Best Actor. Chaplin's innovative style of comedy influenced the style of future generations of comedians. His ability to elicit laughter from both absurd and poignant stories has influenced countless entertainers. From physical comedians to stand-up artists, Chaplin's legacy can be seen in the comedy techniques used today. In addition to his professional achievements, Chaplin's personal life was full of interesting stories and relationships. He had four marriages and numerous affairs, reflecting his colourful and complex romantic life. Despite the ups and downs, Chaplin's devotion to his art never wavered, and he continued to pass on his experiences. Towards the end of the 1970s, Chaplin faced health problems. He died on December 25, 1977 in Switzerland. Chaplin's death left the world of cinema in mourning, but his legacy and works are still very much alive. Charlie Chaplin's life, achievements and highlights paint a picture of a multifaceted artist whose impact on the film industry and popular culture is immeasurable. From revolutionizing silent comedy to his contributions to film theory, Chaplin's work continues to captivate audiences and inspire filmmakers. His enduring popularity, cultural impact and innovative approach to storytelling ensure that his legacy as one of the greatest entertainers of all time will never be lost. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Share your thoughts and ideas about the video with us in the comments section. You can also turn on notifications to get more content and be part of our community. See you in the next video.